You're probably wondering why an old man is sitting in a tree. Well, when I was a kid, I used to climb trees all the time. My favorite tree was a Norway maple on Park Street. And then my kids, they all climbed trees when they were young, up in Duluth, Minnesota, in a tree they called fondly Hunter's Park. So why am I up here? Well, have you ever imagined how many kids have by some chance climbed the Whitewater, Wisconsin territorial bur oak tree? I can tell you right now, it's a lot of kids because that tree's been living for over 200 years. So why don't you climb up here grab an apple, and uh, let's chat about it. This is great. We should be kids more often. Sometime before 1800, the territorial burr oak started growing where we now know as the northwest corner of Main Street and Franklin Street. In 1836, this tree was used as a fixed point of reference when the United States Federal Land Surveyors were setting up plots for the village of Whitewater. They called it a witness tree and also Whitewater's point of beginning. So with the latest that this tree could have been born, it would have been 1800, which means this tree is at minimum 223 years old. Now let's put that into perspective, folks. At that time, Napoleon was invading Austria. The first battery was invented. Uh, Thomas Jefferson was elected president of the United States. And Beethoven just wrote his first symphony. Hmm. Hey, you want to hear a top 10 hit of when you were a teenager? This burr oak grew to become a shading tree over the home of Rosefa Tripp one of Whitewater's earliest woman settlers. In 1836, she and Dr. James Tripp settled here from New York State. They created one of the first industries here in Whitewater, the grinding mill on Whitewater Creek. The mill became extremely popular for neighboring farmers and brought great commerce to the town. After Dr. Tripp's death, Rosefa moved to 504 West Main Street, where the burr oak tree shaded and comforted her for many a summer's day. Ah, does it ever give great shade. But did you know that as a surveyed tree, when it was first surveyed, it only had a trunk size, a circumference, of 16 inches. That is the size of my neck, right here. Now, this tree has a circumference, and I just measured it today, of 165 inches. Man, you gotta cut down on the carbs. I love you, man. Love you. This burr oak tree has had its share of experiences through the years. The local Whitewater Fire Department donated a marker and informational plaque to the tree in 1962. 
The tree survived splitting in two at one point, prompting the cutting of one of its massive leader limbs in order to create stability for the tree and safety for the passers-by. And the Whitewater City Council named the Territorial Burr Oak an historic state of Wisconsin tree on February 1, 1981. The city also adopted it as a symbol of the city of Whitewater. The tree still produces a lot of leaves, but it seems that it can no longer grow leaves in the upper branches of the tree. It also hasn't been producing acorns for a while now, and both of these conditions are due to its old age. Sadly, the Burr Oak's 223-year-old age is starting to catch up with itself. It's becoming a hazard to the surrounding properties and to the people who walk underneath it. So unfortunately, discussions are in progress as to when it's time to finally cut down this amazing living thing. Old age can be hard for anyone. And that's no exception for this beautiful gift here from Mother Nature. Perhaps we can offer it one last hurrah, um, a salute for giving all of us such joy and contentment and comfort through all these years. I think it's deserving of that. After all, don't we all as living human beings just yearn for a little bit just a little bit of dignity in our impending deaths? I hope so. See you next time. <laughs>